When you're playing a video game, does it feel like the same song is playing over and over again? Well, that's because it actually is. And there's good reason for that. As a composer and sound designer for video games, I'm here with a new series I'd like to call Game Audio Analysis. Here I'll be explaining the why and the how of various aspects of game audio. Today, we'll be starting with one of the oldest yet still most effective game audio tricks known as looping. In more classic forms of visual media, say television or film, they always have a finite starting point and a finite ending point. With video games, however, players have the control and the power to take as much time or as little time as they want. So composers and game designers have to keep this in mind when actually making a song for a level. Take the classic example of Super Mario Bros. World 1-1. The player always starts on the far left side of the screen and they will always end at the point where the flagpole is. But there are plenty of different areas for the player to explore, and also they could run at different speeds by holding the run button or just walking. The composer needs to take into account that this could keep going on for a long time, or for a really short amount of time, which makes a loopable track that plays over and over again, no matter how long the player goes for, really useful. Having said that, there's definitely some times where it's not a good idea to loop your track. For instance, in a cutscene that is just purely cinematic before gameplay, it would make more sense to write your music to the scene and what is going on in the scene, because at that point, it's almost like a short film where it has a finite start and a finite end point. Another great example of when you don't want to use loopable tracks is when the music is really taking a focal point in the game. Take the game Jet Set Radio for example. All the characters in that game are listening to music off a radio station, and as with most radio, songs always start, end, and then have a DJ come in and chat about whatever they want with the radio. Then the next song starts. And so it wouldn't make a lot of sense if a track would loop over and over again if the music is actually supposed to be a different part of the game, not as much as background. While there are plenty of good examples of when not to use looped music over the years, we still want to get into how to make the music loop because more times than not, you're going to be using that in your own compositions. Here are a few good tips to keep in mind when you're trying to loop a track in your DAW. Step one, make the end of the track relatively similar to the beginning. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but if it's vastly different, the looping point is very obvious. So it's a good idea to keep them pretty close if you can. Step two, watch your reverb tails. If your song has a lot of reverb, it's going to carry on past the end of the track. The issue with this is that once the track ends in game, all that reverb that carries on past the track in your DAW won't appear in the loop. This will make the loop back to the beginning sound extremely abrupt. And finally, step three, don't export your loop as an MP3. The MP3 codec by design actually leaves a little bit of blank space at the beginning and end of every song. So if your track were to loop in game, this would actually sound like a little hiccup and the track would not be looping seamlessly. If you still want a smaller file size, I'd highly recommend using OGG files. They're a little bit bigger than an MP3, but not by much, and they'll loop seamlessly. Alternatively, if you don't want your file to be compressed, just use a WAV file. That works perfectly fine and sounds fantastic. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Game Audio Analysis. I'm going to try making these weekly, so stay tuned next week because I'm going to be going over some ways to make looping more interesting than just the same song repeating over and over and over again. If you want to be notified when that next video comes out, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Also, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you want to reach out to me on Twitter, my handle is at Mike A. Thal, and you can also check out my website if you're curious to see any of my other game audio work. I'll leave links for everything in the description below. But for now, have a good one, and I'll catch you next time.